This is module 1.1.4, Top Health IT. My name is Steve Parenti, Professor of Department of Finance at the Carlson School of Management. So this is really a video that's going to focus on um, an exercise uh, to complete. This is not uh, lab one, it's not lab two, it's essentially we refer to it as lab zero, but it's a good way to kind of uh, get you in the uh, spirit of uh, looking at for different things in top uh, health IT technologies. So here's what you need to do. And uh, the key is to, um, assuming you're starting this class uh, right after the Martin Luther King holiday, you have until basically the end of January, January 29th, 2018, uh, to email, actually to uh, attach the, to the assignment uh, for Canvas uh, this um, memo. If you do email it to me, I'll, I'll look at it, but I think probably putting it into um, Canvas as an attachment is probably the best way to do this. Um, so. What you need to do is read a top 10 a trek, a trends article, and I'll show you that in a second. And of those 10, uh, find your three favorite trends, identify a direct causal relationship between the technology and trend, and how it might enhance, lead to improved productivity, that is more services uh, holding any constant, holding constant any uh, resources to create that uh, service, and then, uh, or better health outcomes. Uh, and then also another thing is you want to see improved financial performance, is more efficient, new sources of revenue, and so forth. Uh, in subsequent um, week one lectures, we're going to talk about productivity and financial performance pieces, but um, the start off is really it makes some sense. If you're going to pick a tech trend, you know, don't do it because it's like, wow, that sounds really cool. You want it to be cool because it's actually making people healthier or it's going to improve their bottom line or even better, both. So that's where that article uh, is. And then uh, as you're doing that article, or excuse me, as you're reading these pieces, you need to hand in the assignment as an executive uh, memo. And I'm going to walk through what this means. It needs to be one to two pair, uh, excuse me, pages long uh, with five single space paragraphs, each separated by a space. Uh, there's an intro paragraph uh, looking, saying, what are you looking for? You state your key question or issues. You also make sure in that intro paragraph that it is, uh, you tell me what the punchline is, you tell me what the three technologies are that you're focused on. This is not a mystery. Uh, this is an expository writing. It's supposed to be a short executive memo that um, someone could read and you don't put to sleep in the first paragraph. The body, generally the next uh, three paragraphs talk about uh, what you have uh, uncovered, what technologies make the most sense, why you think it makes sense to do that uh, for those technologies, why do you think they have appeal, and then your concluding paragraph, you restate your punchline, explain why that matters, any caveats, limitations, things you might want to see in follow-up, uh, or any next step or issues. So uh, a few things, let's see how this works uh, fairly well to, to move you around. Same thing I'd do if we were there face-to-face. -face. Let's uh, shoot over to uh, the Canvas uh, website. Uh, so this is where you should be found this already, obviously, the course and where it's uh, managed. And so we're going to go to modules. And under modules for week one, uh, you're going to be finding um, the, uh, the, the various readings that are here. And one note about these readings, by the way, unless I explicitly tell you to read it like I'm doing right now for this exercise, they are uh, heavily suggested that you read them. Um, but not necessarily required, though uh, they will certainly enhance your responses in your essay if it shows me that you've read and you understand what's going uh, on uh, in these articles. So let's we're going to click on the Top Tech Trends article. Um, this needs me to open up a new browser, so we do that, and you get to this uh, article that came out in 2016. I haven't really found the 20, well, 2018 I haven't put out yet. 2017 I haven't found one that's as satisfactory as the 2016 one. Usually they do a really good one every two or three years. And so this one is a little tricky to figure out how to actually use this. It used to be there was just one article and it just said here's your top tech trends. In this case what they do is um, there's an overview article here. Uh, and then where it says top tech trends column, uh, they then list out what they are. So this issue of the... This is the Federal Health Resources um, Interoperability System. That's actually one. Cyber Defense is another one. These um, Connected Health, another one. Physician Documentation. Some of them are explicit. Some of them you actually have to read. And these are, by the way, these things are no longer than like reading like a page um, or so about what it is um, 
they are about. And there's pretty interesting things, actually, and you can link to other components of it. If you've never seen Healthcare Informatics, the website's a great uh, resource. Lots of ads, obviously. Um, they have their own summit series. You can go to San Francisco in April. It's outside the scope of the course. And, of course, somewhere in here, they're going to advertise hymns. I can see it right here. Uh, but you're, I'm sure it'll come up at some point. Uh, HIMSS is like a huge health IT uh, space. And this just shows you just all the different you know, vendors that are in play uh, in this space. So that is, that's where you're going to find your, um, your Tech Trends uh, article that you need to take a look at. Now, one other thing to point out as well, uh, just to make sure that uh, everybody does really well in this from day one, because you're going to be using this format of this executive memo we're talking about uh, throughout the course. You're going to do it for Lab Zero, really as a training exercise, but then Lab One, you need to hand in your assignment with this memo structure. Lab Two, you have to do it again. And then actually for three of the four take-home uh, questions on your final, you need to do it as well. So. Since it's so important, let's show you what it looks like. Here is an illustration of, you know, an okay response. Uh, there's a title. Uh, there's actually talking about some of the things that this person might do, what different applications uh, there are. I'm not quite sure some of those applications are the ones that we wanted to see. But, um, but there's a few things here, too. Um, the, one of the concerns about this thing is that um, basically... I don't know, I, again, I see a last name somewhere here, but there's there's no name here. There's no date. There's no nothing. It's just sort of like, I handed in the assignment. Yay. You need, in any of these assignments, you have to put in your name and then some sort of title or something else. So this is, you know, you're okay. You're, you're this is, you're going to, you're going to be okay with this thing, but you're not going to do really that great with it because you don't want to get A's, right? So, um, this, uh, what is a better, like an A assignment is like this thing. And even I graded it. Nice job. 95. 95, by the way, you usually don't do much better than that. I mean, it has to be, like, super awesome if you get much above 95. But the, the idea is that you've put it into memorandum format. You know, you can put memorandum here. Um, you know, if you want to go completely awesome, just, you know, memorandum. So exciting. Um, like that, you know, make it bold. And um, and then, but then you have actually then the two from date subject. Always a good thing to learn how to do this. You even put headline, uh, basically headline pieces for each of the paragraphs. You spell out exactly what you want. Notice in the uh, text it says, "I have found my three favorite Trek friends. I think they have potential for to improve productivity and financial performance." And here they are. So that you know, in the first paragraph, there's no mystery. We know exactly where you're going. Then there's a description about each one of them, and then a conclusion about what different things are there uh, in the future. That's great. Perfect memo. Um, nice job in terms of where that might fall. So that's what we're looking for for these executive memos. Uh, hand them in. Uh, look on those resources. And like I said, this will be important for you. If you've never done it before, just knowing how to do this to begin with is a great idea. But if you've done it before, uh, we're going to be using it quite a bit for uh, this class, trying to make this class as real world as we possibly can. And this concludes uh, this module for Health IT.